Highly controversial Confederate memorial will stay where it is in Hillsborough County. The county commission voted today to keep that monument despite a call from many who find it offensive. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us live outside of the Hillsborough County Courthouse Annex. That's where the monument has stood since the 1950s. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Stacey. This monument was first put up in Tampa in 1911 and moved to this location in the 1950s when they tore down the old, old courthouse. Some people call this a memorial to veterans. Others find it simply offensive. We're not asking to erase history. We're making, we're asking you to write history. With Confederate flags and Black Lives Matter pins, people packed the Hillsborough County Commission meeting. On both sides, it's an emotional issue, as some call for the memorial to stay. It was erected with the purpose of binding up the wounds of war. It's a monument of peace. It's a monument of reconciliation. Others told commissioners they find the memorial offensive every time they have to walk into the courthouse. It should be moved. It is in the wrong place. You got to walk past this Confederate memorial to seek justice. That is absolutely unequivocally wrong. Commissioner Les Miller, the great grandson of a slave, who grew up in a segregated Tampa, told fellow commissioners he's always found the memorial offensive. It's time to take that monument down. But Commission Chairman Stacy White is among those who believe the monument should stand. This monument is indeed a piece of our history. It also has intrinsic artistic value. In the end, Commissioner White, along with Victor Christ, Sandy Merman, and Ken Hagen, voted to keep the Confederate memorial. Commissioners Les Miller, Al Higginbotham, and Pat Kemp voted to take it down. Commissioners White and Miller shook hands at the end, but Miller was clearly disappointed. Uh, it stays. It, it uh, will continue to be divisive in this community. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, Commissioner Victor Chris did manage to get a compromise of sorts passed at the end of the day. He's uh, suggested that they have a 10-foot high, 75-foot long mural behind this monument that more uh, completely tells the story of the civil rights struggle. That memorial will be uh, commissioned at a later time, but some people told me today that's not enough. They want this taken down. However, after today's vote, that will not happen. All right, Jeff Patterson, live in Tampa. Thank you.